Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to show you how you can install Drupal 8 on Windows. Now, I'm going to be using Windows 10 for this example. However, it should work very similarly on older versions of Windows as well. So let's get going on that right now. So to get started, we first need to download a couple of things. We need a, a server basically to run our site, that being MAMP, because MAMP is free and it's easy. So we can click download. Uh, this is MAMP.info. I'll have this link in the description of the video itself. But after we get to download, we can then click download again once more, and it'll download that application that we can install in our computer. If you don't already have something like this already. And while that's downloading, we can also grab Drupal 8. Now Drupal 8 can be found here at drupal.org slash 8. And you'll notice this nice new look to Drupal's website. I don't even know if this was here last week when I was just on the site. So in this, so in the other tutorial videos, if you see drupal.org, uh, it might look a little bit differently, a little bit more like this. So let's actually head back and let's click the download button right here. Now, I personally usually grab the tire.gz, but since out of the box, Windows doesn't have a way to extract these files, I'm going to click the .zip. So if you do have a way or an application that you can use to install or to unzip .tar.gz files, then go right ahead uh, or just look in an app store, the Windows store, and grab something that does that. But for right now, just to keep this easy, I'll grab the zip. Okay, so now that we have everything downloaded, we can come to our downloads and you see we have MAMP here. Let's just double click on MAMP to install. It's going to ask us if we'd like to run it. Let's go ahead and run it. And it's going to run the installer, accept the terms. Okay, and we're going to have MAMP installed. Okay, so now MAMP is completely installed. Let's go ahead and also unzip Drupal here. What we can do is just double click on this Drupal compressed zip and we're going to uh, extract it into this downloads folder. So let's just go ahead and click extract and then extract all and it's going to throw it into our downloads folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that we have everything downloaded, let's open up a couple of uh, windows here, uh, my computer. What we want to do is have one that's looking at our local disk, our C drive, and we're going to open up the MAMP folder. Now inside of the MAMP folder, we should have an htdocs folder. Now htdocs is where your website lives. Since we have a bunch of files we want to be putting in here. Let's actually just delete this entire folder. And what we're going to do is move the Drupal folder from our downloads. So we have a Drupal folder. Inside of that is a actual Drupal folder. Inside of this is all the files. We want to move all these files, but let's just do so by dragging over this Drupal folder into our MAMP directory. And now that this is here, let's rename this htdocs because MAMP is going to be looking for htdocs. Okay, so we now have htdocs. We have this should be full of your Drupal site files. Let's go ahead and uh, open up MAMP now. I'm going to close this window and let's go ahead and open up MAMP. We can just double click on the application. Now, uh, MAMP Pro is a paid product, so you don't need to worry about that. Just check out MAMP for now. It's nice and free. And after these two boxes have green squares inside of them, we have our Apache and MySQL up and running. We can go ahead and click this open start page. Now this open start page is going to take us to localhost forward slash MAMP, which is going to be where we'll have some tools here. Now we also want to open up a new tab and we'll just type in localhost. And as you can see, after coming to localhost, we should be redirected to core slash install. Now from here we can select a language and click save and continue. Now after this, we'll want to select a profile. Now we don't need to worry about profiles just yet, but we want the standard installation. So we'll leave the standard checked and click save and continue. Next, it's going to verify some requirements, one of which it's not going to find this PHP op code caching. We don't need to worry about this. This isn't a production server. It's highly rec recommended for site performance, but since this is just for development right now, we don't have to worry too much and we can just click continue anyways. Now from here, we'll need to add a database information. By default in MAMP, the database username is root and the password is also root. From here, we can 
have a database name, but we need to create a database first. So back at our map start page, we can go ahead and click tools, PHP, my admin. Now PHP and my admin allows us to create a new, to new database. So right here in the left, we can just click new and we can give this a name like Drupal 8. Okay. Now that we have this database, we'll just click create and it's going to create us a new database. So here we have it listed in the sidebar and in our database table right here, Drupal 8. And so now that we have a database, we can enter database name. So Drupal 8. Let's click save and continue. Now that the database is found, Drupal is going to install. So we'll just let this progress bar go as it installs Drupal onto our local host. Okay, after that's completed installing, we now have the options to configure our site. So we can just say site name, level up tutorials, site email address is going to be my own email, username, it could be anything you'd like. I like to have this maybe not admin, but for this example, admin is fine. Uh, people like to guess admin. If you look at um, your server log, sometimes if you have a Drupal site, you can just see a whole bunch of hackers trying passwords for admin. So maybe give it something else other than admin. Um, that way those passwords won't ever work. Okay, and this very weak password here that I'm using is only because this is a local machine. Now, if you were doing this on a any sort of production, anything, you'll want this password to be as strong as it gets. Okay, so now default country, I'm gonna set to United States. And default time zone, I'm going to set to my time zone just so everything is displaying correctly to what I would expect. Let's come up, 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 up. There's a lot of these, okay. And now you can choose if you want email notifications or not. I'm going to uncheck that just because I don't need any more emails. Let's click save and continue. Okay, so we now have a new Drupal site all installed and ready to go. Now I should warn you that the rest of these videos in the series are going to be on the OSX install of this. However, it's going to be the exact same. So don't get put off if you do not see this Windows bar down here. The videos will be the exact same content either way if you're on Windows or PC. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you want the rest of these videos before they're released, head to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase early access of this series. As always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.